Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How you guys doing? Doing well. All right. Doing well, man. It's Rocky Patel review, so you know it's going to be a spicy one. Yep. So we are talking about the Rocky Patel Grand Reserve Toro. Uh, cigar is a Toro 6x52. Comes out of the Tavicusa factory in Nicaragua. The blend is completely undisclosed. Uh, price point is th $13.00. Cigar was released in July of 2020 in the United States. It was a blend in Europe before that. Uh, and we picked these up from Havana Phil's. So uh, for all your cigar needs in the North Carolina, Greensboro area, make sure you go hit up Havana Phil's. Um, about Phil's? Yep. All right, June, take us through your overall experience with this cigar. Um, I I actually thought it was pretty damn good. Um, I don't really think that of Rocky Patel since... Well, I did. That was uh, like 10 years ago when I first started smoking cigars that I didn't know what I was smoking. But now that I know more of what I'm smoking, um, I, coming into this, um, I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty tasty. It had this like really nice, like fresh, you know, uh, jalapeno spice to it. Uh, it was naturally sweet and creamy, very nutty. Um, I, I really liked actually that spice, um, that, that fresh, like pungent spice uh, mixed with that sweet and creaminess. Um, I always really like that kind of a flavor profile, especially if it uh, has like a really nice finish that gives you the same thing, which this one uh, totally did. So, um, you know, a relatively strong medium plus, uh, medium body, medium plus for strength, medium body. Um, it, it was really good, man. I, I uh, The only thing that kind of sucks is uh, it's 13 bucks. Uh, for being so undisclosed. So uh, I don't really want to pay $13 per for something like this. Uh, but um, because I enjoyed it, I would definitely smoke more. All right, Seth, what were your overall thoughts? Um, yeah, listen, I, I first of all, I thought the cigar was just kind of average in appearance. I don't think there was anything really grand wrong. about it. No, there's nothing <laughs> grand about this at all. Uh, <laughs> nothing at all. Um, first third was average, just getting some you know, sweet spices, earth, nut, wood notes. Um, second, third shows some improvement. I was getting some like coffee and cream qualities on top of that. Um, <clears throat> but the final third just kind of takes it down a notch. Um, peppery spices, um, leather qualities. Um, good construction, uh, good burn. Um, overall, you yeah, know, just average. What about you, John? Yeah, I, I so um, it's interesting you talked about the pre-light because I didn't really think about that, but you're right. I mean, for a cigar that commands over a, you know, what would you say, $11 price point, uh, anything over $11, there's kind of an expectation of presentation, and I'm not sure that this quite met it, but I didn't think about it until you just brought it up, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I thought the first third, like June, was, uh, was good and surprising, um, only because... I haven't tasted a Rocky Patel that was this nuanced in a while. And by that, I mean, you know, it had layers that you kind of had to dig through. Um, they were interesting. They're very satisfying in the palate. Um, I didn't have any harshness. There was no components that were coming through that were making me, you know, unhappy or, or really hitting my palate poorly on the post draw. It was tasty. Nutmeg, baking spices, cocoa, um, you know, some mustiness, some wood, all check, 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 check. Um, unfortunately for me, I, I feel like either, either I think the cigar might be a little new on the market or because I, I feel like those components were still there in the second, third. They just didn't quite harmonize in the first third. And usually in my experience, when that's the case, it's because the cigar has been a little rushed to market. Now I could be completely off the rocker there because I have no idea. I'm just talking straight out of my ass, but um, it did have some of those components in the second third, which was what led me to believe that, but unfortunately it just didn't come together. So for the second to last third uh, average, the last third really lacked most of those components. So it was really just a dry cedar experience. And uncharacteristically, uh, I had a fairly resistant draw, which is unusual for Rocky. Um, one of the things I think, at least for me, uh, the cigars are typically constructed quite well. So, um, you know, the, res the resistance was like three to three and a half notches. So on a Torpedo Vitola, I mean, you really don't want that. I was kind of expecting it to open up, but it really didn't do that. Um, so, you know, 
that's a bit of a drag. Um, I'm trying to look at my burn, but um, it's like I, it's like I don't have the burn notes. Oh, the burn was perfect. That's why I don't have any notes on the burn because it was perfect. It was literally flawless all the way through. Uh, Aaron, walk us through your experience. Yeah, I thought the cigar started on the lighter strength side with a mellow fullness of flavors, kind of picked up through each third. Uh, I never thought the enjoyment uh, was above average at any point, uh, but there was nothing really wrong with the flavor profile. Um, I could definitely see how this was kind of a you know a cigar for the European market uh, with the lower level uh, strength and fullness kind of the way it started out, but uh, in the end, it's not really a, a cigar for me. Uh, price points also on the, a bit on the high side, so. Um, you know, it might be worth checking out one to see what you think, but um, I don't I don't really see myself coming back to this one. So let's get into the scores. We're going to start at the top with June at 6.72. Seth was next at 5.85. John gave it a 5.65. I give it a 5.55. So June had that 6.72 matchup for you. I thought you guys told me you guys liked this cigar. <laughs> Tricks on oh, you. Fuck you. I think <laughs> I said I, I think my comment was I liked it for a Rocky Patel. Oh. <laughs> I bid, yeah. I bid, I liked it, liked it. I was so <laughs> bored of it. I said it was no grand, judgment. just it was no grand. Judgment. That gets okay. to I, <laughs> hey man, look, there's lots of Rockies that I would put in the mid to high six categories. So, you know, that's a total just, lie. No, no, it's Name entirely one. true. Name one. The Rocky Patel Edge Maduro would be probably in the low sixes, six three for me. 15th He's, anniversary. The fifth, oh, dude, that was great. The uh, 50 oh, 50. So you're talking about like the old, the, the, yes. the, the, the old, the, uh, hey, the, some of the prohibitions were pretty good. Prohibitions were good. Mm. The 50 50, man, the 50 50 okay. is only two years old. That would have been in the low sevens for me. Well, uh, there was the decade Reserva, which had like a PA Broadleaf, right? That was really good. That was the hot winter, co winter collection, winter collection was good. It was really good. No, man, I mean, he puts like out some okay. stuff that's good. Well, whatever, just you know. Give me a Sam Adams beer at the booth with the cigar, and I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's 5.85. Yeah, it adds up. I mean, nothing really impressive about it. I mean, as I said in my end, this Rocky is going to do well right now because that's what's new. And then yeah. when the next Rocky comes out, people will forget about it. It's just, yeah. it's just the cycle with Rocky Patel. All right, John, 5.65. Yeah, I'm going to start the rumor that the uh, – you're welcome, Rocky. The reason this is $13 is because it's got uh, it's got Cuban tobacco in it, which is why it was uh, on the uh, European market. Really? I heard it out. had 2014 Dominican uh, – what is that? Allure. Allure. No, Allure, yeah. no, there's no, there's no uh, Allure sure? in this. Yeah, it's, I, heard um, those, I heard there was 14 Allure. No, it's uh, it's Havana about? Havana ninety nine, um, some old crop of Havana ninety nine that they they slipped in here, and that's that's why it's thirteen bucks. No, my sources, I, my sources tell me for Lord. Fair enough. Um, my sources need to talk to your sources. So no, I mean the the score lines up pretty well. Um, you know, I would I would smoke it again. Um, because like it was a pleasant experience, but um, the price point of it is you know really rough to get by. I mean thirteen bucks in this marketplace. Um, you really have to deliver, I would say, for me, probably a six and a half or higher to really justify that kind of price point. Um, so for me, that's kind of where the miss is, is that, you know, if this, if you said this was 850 or nine bucks, I'd probably revisit this a couple of times. Um, but for 13 bucks, it's just, it's just out of my price range for that, that score category. Aaron? Yeah, my 5.55 matches up well. Average flavor profile, um, decent construction, had a little burn issues, but the a perfect draw. So it gets right in the mid five. So that's kind of where I think where it typically would uh, land for me. So uh, any other final thoughts on this cigar from you guys? I'm hoping, no. I mean, not that we're probably going to buy these, this, Seth? <laughs> Seth, that's, that's, that's my final question. Why'd I get them? Why'd you get them? Okay, Which, uh, we have to all, represent you, the various why brands. Why are you so mad i mean are you mad because you scored no, a lot not higher mad. than us or i mean no he's mad I, that he liked the rocky patel that's it that's clearly what I, I purchased them because it was, got it. it was new and it was in europe and i was like let's give it a shot yeah rocky, yeah. rocky doesn't yeah. usually have we, we try yeah. we try new things all the time hey yeah. rocky gets views man people people like rocky people like yeah it's, listen it's we're going to be reviewing an Alec, the new alec yeah. bradley yep yeah yeah I don't know what that means though, Seth. <laughs> what, just, what was that? Another, it's another. It's just another like it's main. It's another main. <laughs> it's a mainstream brand. I purchased a mainstream cigar. I don't yeah, know. Man. We might lose some subscribers based on that comment. We got to mix it in, man. We have. <laughs> we we cover everything. Yes. Yeah. 
we we review the cigars. We don't review the people or the brands. Yep. So, yeah. Just new you stuff. Can, for sure. You you can love well you put. Can, not not that I have anything against, but um, this discussion kind of came up is like you can love the art and dislike the artist i have no feelings about the artist really or the art because we review them for me on a one-on-one basis but like i said there's been plenty of rocky patel releases in the past that um would have scored quite well on a top 25 list so that's why you gotta check in man because you never know when you're gonna find the next gem yep check in man all right, okay. if you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalettes.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one.